one. Uh, in this video, we're going to do an epic lithophane print using the Tronix YX5S. So here I have two photos. Uh, Pixel-wise, they are exact same dimensions. Uh, and we're going to use these to create our epic lithophane. And the epic lithophane I'm going to make will be a lampshade style lithophane. So I'm going to take these two photos and we're going to convert them into uh, 180 degree curved lithophanes that we're going to 3D print. I've also designed a base for the lampshade that we're going to 3D print and we're going to merge all three together. Okay, so if I go into my web browser here, this is my lithophane generating website of choice. I'll put this uh, link to this in the description. So I'd like to go through how I set this up. So first, I go into my model settings here, and I'm going to select 180 degrees because each half is going to be half a circle. And then you can play around with your other dimensions here, the height of your lithophane, and uh, I believe I want 380 millimeters tall. And then I'm going to go in to my image settings, and I have it set to positive. When you first open uh, this website for the first time, this is going to be set to negative. You don't want negative, you're going to want positive for your image. And everything else here you can leave the same. So then we can go to our model before we load our image. And I'm going to want this outer curve here for my lithophane since I'm doing a lampshade and I want the image on the outside of the curve. You can see here there are a lot of options to choose from on this site. You have a cylinder, so I could wrap a picture all the way around that. I have flat, I have inner curve, uh, two types of dome. This dome style in particular right here if you wanted to create a lithophane globe of the Earth or any of the other planets, this could come in handy. But I want this style lithophane for, for this print. Then we're going to select our image one at a time. Where I have the, lithoph the photos for the lithophane stored. Select one. And this process, depending on the size of your photo and how big a lithophane you want to make, can take a considerable amount of time. Um, in this situation, this is a very high resolution photo that I want to generate a very large lithophane out of, so it's going to take quite a bit of time here. So we'll just give it a minute. Uh, if you find it does hang, you can click on image and reload the photo. but it is still computing. Again, this is a very large photo I'm trying to process here. It is, if I go and I look at the photo, and I go to the details, you'll see it's a 2362 by 2559, so it's quite large. Um, so that is done. So it gives you a preview as well. See how massive this lithophane is, right there. And all you have to do now is you download it. Again, it will take a minute. Now I'm using uh, Firefox here. I've switched over to Firefox as I've only had I only have that one tab open. I find if you have like over here, I have Chrome open, Chrome browser, and I have several tabs open. And if I try to use this website with several other tabs open, um, it tends to lock up or freeze. So you're, you're best to attempt to use this in a web browser where you don't have many other tabs open. But that would be only in situations like this where you're creating a very large lithophane and there's an incredible amount of detail. Okay, so there's one half. Now, I won't bother with the second one. You'll just repeat the same process for the second one. Now we can just pop over into Cura. And I have the X5S selected here. And 
we can just open our model we downloaded through the website. It'll take a few minutes because it is quite large. This is my second attempt at this epic print. My first attempt, I merged all three components of my print. Uh, it turned into a five-day print, and unfortunately, three days in, we had a very bad snowstorm here, and it killed the power. So that left me with two-thirds of a print, and then I tried to salvage it by reprinting just the last piece, and I ran out of filament. So I gave up there. So I thought I'd start over and do the lithophane lampshade in three pieces. Much more convenient, less chance of error, less chance of ruining or wasting a whole roll of filament. So as I said, this piece is quite large. Um, and there will be another side to print. And there will also be an insert to put in place that will fit uh, the lamp that I plan on installing this on. So that's basically it on how I went from photo to generating the lithophane to generating my G code. There's nothing special here. I did go with 0.2 millimeter layer height, not 0.1, and everything else is the same. Next step is to print the G code one piece at a time. Let's go and check out those time lapse prints now. One half of my lampshade, my lithophane lampshade, about 90% complete. So this one piece is almost 55 hours in. And as I said, about 90% done.
Here is the second half of our massive lithophane light shade uh, that I printed on the X5S. It is now complete. It took 53 hours and 56 minutes to print. It turned out great. Now I just have to print the uh, internal mounting structure so I can mount it on a lamp and then we'll begin assembly of the uh, lampshade. Now that I have my two halves printed, I'm going to just give these edges a light sanding and then I'm going to bond them together with some crazy glue. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom. I don't want to risk gluing it to tablecloth. Both right side up. I don't have very much of a reach with this cord. Let's do The weld, just a small weld in each corner to hold it in place. Let's see how far we can get inside here on this seam. Now that I have my two halves together and I've got the seams cleaned up nicely, I also have the bottom all cleaned up and the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the base that I printed for the design. It's going to offer supports along the seams where we don't really care about uh, the shadows of the lithophane and then just some partial supports on the other axis. So I'm going to take my lithophane, flip it upside down. I want to line my two larger supports up with the seams of my lithophane.
Okay. So there's our finished lithophane lampshade. It's massive. Let's take the lampshade, put it on one of the lamps I have here in the house, and see how it turned out. Three pieces all together consumed almost an entire roll of filament. See how this turned out. So there is our <clears throat> So I thought I'd turn down the uh, the lighting contrast on the camera to pick up the images on the, the lithophane a little bit better so you can see them as I see them. Uh, it turned out absolutely amazing it's massive in size uh, I couldn't be happier I think it looks great on the lamp but I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out I really like the look of it and it is an epic print so this brings us to the end of uh, this epic print video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I know I did. Uh, I hope it was informative. Uh, please check out the uh, links in the description below uh, and make some of your own epic lithophane prints. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.